Hello everyone this is Shubham Pramanik from motionrex.com and today I'm back again with another amazing tutorial for the brand Lakme if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and with that said now let's begin Alright, let's start the process by creating a background and for that I am selecting this orange color and hit ok. Now lock this layer, alright. And after that here you can see that I have provided all of the assets required for this particular project, ok. So I will drag and drop the Google search box over here and after that we have to cover up this search text. So for that I will select a rectangle tool, I will just switch off the stroke so I will press alt and left click and it will off. Then I'll press alt and left click again to turn on the fill and let's select the color to this color. Okay. Now just drag it like this and it will be hidden under that. Okay. Now just parent this layer to our main Google search box and lock it. Okay. Let's type in for the font I'm using Roboto. After that what I'll do I'll just select the text tool again and I'll type in a question mark just like that and I'll increase the size of it okay fine and now put this layer behind the search box icon okay now it is looking good and we are going to animate this as well alt shift s and alt shift r as well I'll drag this to keyframe around few frames forward and now set the rotation to minus 180 degree at the frame 0 and set the scale to 0 now let's see so it will animate like this and around 2 second I'll just animate it to the opposite side so I'll set a keyframe over here as well and just move a few frames forward and now uh, rotate it like this so I'll set it 90 degree and make the scaling 0 okay now let's ramp preview it and let's see so it will move like this okay and set the rotation to 180 degree okay now let's see perfect fine I think uh, we can make this one 65 and this one as well now let's ramp preview it perfect and let's animate this text as well in every after effects there is a preset called typewriter it is already there so just select that and press u and just drag this keyframe so let's see all right now let's build our second scene so when it is rotating like this i'm gonna add another animation to the google search box so i'll press alt shift and p to add a keyframe also one more thing we have to do before animating we have to parent this text layer with our google search box as well so then go a few frames forward and just drag this one like this and at this point of time i'm gonna add another shape layer and that is a circle so i'll select the ellipse tool i'll press shift and draw a circle like this and name it as circle always level your layers it helps add an animation on the scale property so alt shift and s drag this keyframe a few frame forwards and make it zero now let's ramp preview it okay there is a delay let's adjust that well, fine okay looking nice let's just easy ease those and this one as well now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking so far okay yep looking nice so i'll select the text tool again and let's type in now in this text i want to make the vitamin c uh, part to be bold and so for that i'll just select monster black all right for the entire text i want the color to be orange like this i'll select the ellipse tool again and let's draw another circle and position this one over here okay i'm gonna use that as a placeholder for our image so i'll drag and drop the image and let's name it as matte okay and i'll select the image 
and I'll press F4 to reveal the track mat option and I'll select alpha mat for that. And now you can just drag your image and position it wherever you want. Select these two layers and crop it like this. Create another circle. So for that, I'm going to duplicate this layer mat 2 and just turn on the visibility and name it as circle 2 okay and just drag that one over here and now this time i'm going to scale it down just like this now for the aesthetic purpose let's add a drop shadow to it okay and now let's make the distance to 40 and change the softness to around 200 okay looking cool now copy this just paste it onto our small circle layer by pressing ctrl v and it is looking like that so i'm gonna decrease the softness let's make it 150 perfect these two circles are coming very abruptly so let's animate those as well okay so for this one i'm going to animate our main image layer so i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position drag that keyframe a few frames forward we have to parent our matte layer with our image layer as well and now just drag that like this way outside of the frame and do the same thing for the circle too as well so i'll press alt shift p drag that keyframe over here and now i'm going to drag it like this now select these two keyframes and easy is now let's ramp preview it and let's see fine now here we are going to reveal our third scene and for that we have to make a custom transition and let's create a new composition for that i'll name it as left side oranges now here you can see that i have provided orange slice png image drag and drop that and set the scale properly and then just name it as o1 for our convenience okay now duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then just place it wherever you want want to place it over here you can do that you can place it over here as well you can make it small or whatever you want all right so i'm going to do it quickly for you and i'm showing you later okay all right so after placing all of the layers here you can see i have offset them as well for a few frames and here you can see that how it is looking right now so that's it now at this point i'm gonna add another animation to these layers so i'll select all of them and i'll press alt shift and p to add a keyframe on the position property then i'll go a few frames forward around three seconds and let's drag all of them one by one okay you can do it in your own way as well there is no such rule all right now i have done this all of them move like this way okay looks cool all right and now create a new null object okay and after that i'm going to select all of the layers and parent them to the null object so here i'm going to type in controller control so i'll press alt shift and p and there i'm going to drag it like this way outside of the frame now let's ramp preview it so it will reveal like this i think we can do it like this yep it's looking good now go to our main composition and drag this composition over here and place it over here here let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking yep so it is completely covering the frame fine let's duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and name it as right side okay now select the right side orange layers right click go to transform and select flip horizontal okay now let's ramp preview it yep here you can see it is covering the entire frame and then it is revealing so when the oranges are going outside of the frame we want to reveal our third scene and to add a marker press shift and three on your keyboard 
now let's build our third scene so for that i'm going to create a new composition all right so here i'll create a new background and for that i'm going to select the white color hit ok and now here is a product that is lacme vitamin c serum just drag and drop that increase the size a little bit and now let's add little scale animation to this uh, product so i'll set a keyframe on the scale and i'll increase the size like this just like this okay all right and over here i'm going to add some sort of animation so i'll set a keyframe on the position i'll go one or two frames forward and there i'm going to add a little bit touch to the opposite side to add an anticipation before happening the main action okay so this is an animation principle and if you are using animation principle in your work it makes the work more engaging and eye catch also it adds some sort of professionalism to your work okay so i'll press shift p and r as well and i'll set a keyframe on the position and rotation and scale as well now go a few frames forward and this time i'm going to change the rotation of it i'll position it over here and i'll make the scaling little bit smaller just like that so it will animate like this fine and there i'm going to add another uh, image that is our portrait to image and i'm going to add it like over here so when the product is moving like this i want the image to come up so i'll set a keyframe on the position as well i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe and now drag this one just like this okay now let's ramp with it okay and i'm gonna place it over here and let's see fine now select this two keyframes easy ease and select all of these layers easy ease those as well now see looking good now let's ramp with it and let's see it is looking nice right and at this point i'm gonna add this orange slice as well so scale it down place one over here and put it behind our product image and duplicate this one and place it over here now let's just add a drop shadow so for that i'll copy it from here and then i'm going to paste it over here let's decrease the softness a little bit now let's quickly add a text over here so this text will come at this point and uh, yep let's crop this layer as well and when the orange slice will come let's decide so when the product will settle over here i want the oranges to come into the frame so i'll select these two i'll set a keyframe on the position as well and now let's just drag one of them like this and another one like this now let's ramp with it and let's see pretty pretty cool right now just go to your main comp and around this point where we have marked already let's just put in our third scene keep in mind that you have to put it under your circle images so around here and now let's ramp preview the entire composition and let's see how it is looking so here you can see that within a couple of minutes we have created a promotional video for lacme brand and in this way you can make something for your clients as well take this as an inspiration and learn something new from this i hope it helps you in your own creative journey as well so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye